Cook. It's been a while since we've seen a squirrel. I'm Steven Detweiler, and I'm at, well, this is Walking Talk. I'm actually listening to church right now, but I saw the squirrel, so I thought I'd start Walking Talk and show that we still have squirrels. Squirrel! Hi, squirrel. I'm going to get back to church. All right. This is Steven Detweiler. This is the official start of Walking Talk. I know I squirreled out just a second ago, which was actually in the beginning of my walk, listening to church, and that puts us at, right now we are at, what are we at? Half a mile, so that means we got one more mile to go, and not much going on in the park today. Um, not sure, not sure what the deal is about their uh, uh, softball. Their softball league because they were like banging softball beautiful day for softball um, i thought it was gonna be cooler today so i wore a long sleeve shirt so i might end up working up a good sweat anyway uh, didn't wear a hat because i want to get some good vitamins and i wear a hat all during the week so I let my hair breathe and uh but yeah this is uh, a beautiful day some some clouds and you got the trees. Uh, there's another little path. But you see, those paths aren't big, like I said last week. It doesn't look like, uh, it doesn't look like kids are getting out. I guess uh, sitting at home being keyboard warriors or just gamers. Uh, kids aren't out, teenagers aren't out the partying in the woods. So maybe I guess that's a good thing. But, huh things to think about I think people I think they should be out not necessarily partying in the woods but experiencing the woods um, enjoying a squirrel here and there and you know I enjoy that and uh, a lot of people out here with the talking with their dogs and uh, I'm gonna get a dog I'm certainly gonna go get a dog What type of terrier? Schnauzer. Miniature Schnauzer. Miniature Schnauzer. Yes, sir. Man, I used to, I used to know all my dogs. I used to watch Westminster Dog oh, Show yeah. and stuff. I used to know all my breeds, and I've just, I've lost it. But I'm like, <laughs> I know what that breed is. <laughs> I, I, I know exactly what you. It's called. It's called age. I know exactly. Well, well, it's just not being into it as much. I'm, I'm just looking forward. I want to get a German Shepherd. Uh huh. Oh, well, that's I've, very I've good. had, I've had Shelties like all my life. Okay. And. I used to I had I used to have like a thousand dollar Shelby I had bought for my ex-wife, raised in. He was smarter than a whip. Oh, they are. But man, it came down to the fact I want a German Shepherd. I've owned I've owned a I owned a wolf. He was three quarter wolf. Wow. And I had a dingo who ended up living with us when I had the wolf. And those two were crazy together. I can imagine. <laughs> I couldn't control I couldn't control those guys. I, I, I could not figure out. I had horses up, but I'd lock up the lock them up, and somehow the next day they'd both be out. I said, I, where? How? How'd you do it? Right. The wolf. Yeah, smart. Too smart. Uh, way too smart. <laughs> he was way too Very smart. smart. For, way too smart for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, German Shepherds are pretty doggone smart too. So. They're very, and very loyal and can be very passive when they need to be passive, but very aggressive when they need to be aggressive. And that's what I like about them. Kind of like the ultimate dog. Yeah. Yeah. So that's my deal. I want to get a, I want to get a girl named Anna. Okay. And because I know I'm going to treat her like a princess. Uh -huh. And then about a year later, I want to get a boy named Pita, oh, okay. who's going to be the goofball. Okay. Because you got to have a goofball, <laughs> and you got to have a sister watch the goofball. There you That's go. how I figure it. <laughs> my my only thing I would say is adopt, don't shop. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's a rescue. Yeah, rescue dogs know it too. Oh, they do. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. If you ever watch Fox Four with Evan Andrews, you know. Adopting is the way to go. Absolutely. That's he's all about that. He's a friend of mine. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. I can get on there there was a time I used to bother him like during his broadcast and he would always answer answer me like I'd be like, Evan, your tie's messed up. <laughs> but he can't get off his segment and go, Well thanks, I didn't see that. <laughs> yeah. You guys have a great day.
see that's what's fun people are fun and uh i enjoy people you have to enjoy people a lot of people you don't enjoy but then that's when you have forgiveness and you don't get offended that's what the sermon was from patricia king today was about not being offended not getting offended um because offense can take you down so if you can let it go let them go remember it's not you're not doing anything for them when you let go of offense you're doing it for you you don't don't let them live in your mind don't let them let them live in your heart don't let them take up space um, pray for them that they will receive jesus christ that they'll receive the peace of god where that they were once the offender and causing offense that now they're the ones that are, live with a life that says no we're not going to strive we're not going to be of offense hey look there's a bug in my glasses oh man it just smeared on my glasses now i gotta walk with a smear on my glasses oh man and so yeah so that's that's what we gotta do is pray for folks um we do need to say hey i can't take offense about this my life our lives are too short man to be all up and enraged about what this person did or what that person did or that person cut me off or that person was an a-hole uh, uh, pray for that person that they find peace with god and uh, that they they no longer live an a-holish life and <laughs> i don't know <laughs> <laughs> I wonder about me sometimes and I'm sure you wonder about me sometimes too and uh, but that's that's what we got to do and uh, so I was walking along uh, I, was, I was walking along this morning no, I, was, I was sitting along was well, sitting along I was sitting there this morning I was thinking about you know little things that I've done to change my health now I have one thing I, I watch the little ads by like Dr. Gundry and others that give you just enough information that you don't have enough information unless you buy their stuff but if you listen to them enough you get enough information to start using some information and so one of the things that I've done is uh, one of the things that I've done is I've implemented uh, eating kimchi for the probiotics. A lot of the probiotics that you buy in pill form and stuff never make it past your stomach. They don't get into your into into your intestinal walls, and it's in your it's that's that's where the probiotics need to be, and that's what heals your intestinal walls, so you don't have the little tears and stuff. Your intestinal walls are very very thin and you need the probiotics to help strengthen those and i'll tell you what i feel a lot healthier i started uh, this is about about four weeks now i guess i started implementing that uh with every with every dinner meal when i get home to making dinner i start off with some kimchi now you can get the same results with uh uh sauerkraut uh that's both uh uh, both made out of cabbage and they're both fermented and fermenting uh, cabbage it's that fermenting process that that um, grows the probiotics and so that's something I've done for my my inner health because it's in your your gut and when they say gut a lot of people think just stomach when they say gut no your gut is your whole digestive tract so when you hear uh advertising about, about gut health they're talking about from from your stomach through your uh, uh upper intestines your lower intestines through your colon you're, that's your gut health and the better your gut health uh the better your overall health because that's where the nutrients and everything else uh that you need to uh, enrich your blood that's where it all comes from and so the better your gut health the better your overall health and so 
and that's why we have to watch what we eat that we stay away from processed foods now i haven't had this is one thing i got from uh covid um look hey i wonder what what lives in that hole down there i wonder what that is i wonder what's i wonder what's in that hole it's a bed creek it's a creek bed bed creek creek bed and there's a hole in it then there's a couple other little holes i wonder what made those holes huh do you know what made those holes what's your guess what made those holes i'd be curious you might know more about creek bed holes than, than i do uh, but that's the creek this week there's there's just that little bit of water we've not had any uh, significant rain in a while but that's texas it'll rain again it does that it'll get dry then it'll rain then it'll get dry then it'll rain and that's what happens it uh it's it's that the process of uh raining and not raining that's 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 science i'm glad i could i'm glad i could teach you science today about about that that comes back to the you know what that's so funny we get a, we get a hurricane a hurricane touch our touch our peninsula florida <laughs> And the leftists, the climate change gurus, you know, look, I don't want to get censored off of uh, YouTube, so I'm not going to say, say, I'm not going to say yes or no on the overall climate change issue. But the whole thing about pointing at a storm, a hurricane, where we've had hurricanes for millennia upon millennia upon millennia upon millennia. Uh, and the fact that this year has actually been a fairly quiet year in terms of overall storms. We're into October, almost the middle of October. Uh, Ian is, uh, what, the seventh, the seventh named storm? Um, you know, and it's tropical storms when they get named. So it's been a uh, very light uh, hurricane season. And when seasons change, that means the climate has changed. So in that respect, I'll have to agree that there, there's climate change. Now you can just cut that out. So Steve agrees that there's climate no, I, there, guess, guess what? The climate, the climate right now in Texas has changed from a very hot, hot, hot summertime climate to a cooler fall climate. It's called seasons. We don't get the vast uh, swing of seasons here in Texas, but we do have a swing of seasons. The hurricane came because it was hurricane season. It ha we've been having hurricanes way before uh, these uh, climate change things have been brought up. Uh, like I said, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be taken off YouTube because of I'm spreading propaganda or this this just i'm just saying that we've we have hurricane season and it's been a light season and uh and, and my point is stop trying to point point to things to try to support an agenda if an agenda is supportable it'll support itself you don't have to make it happen that's my point um and that, that's, that's what it is. I think I'm a mile in. So anyway, my health is better. Back to, back to my health. Um, I did want to address the, the hurricane. Um, and, and that. So back to my health. I'm actually doing pretty good. Uh, working on my gut health. Um, I got to say, um, I'm still weighing in at an average of 330 330 pounds but and i exercise six days a week 
you know this I call it you know I do this mile and a half and that's uh, that's my sixth day of exercise I lift it I do strength training five days a week before work um, I'm oh I was getting back to uh, what COVID when I came out of COVID dude I can't even I can't even man the smell of sugar cane sugar sweet sweets like that uh, cake ice cream it just makes me sick can't eat it don't want to put it in my mouth I'll spit it back out uh, so when it came to uh, COVID um, it changed it did change my tastes but it gave me a very bad taste in my mouth when it comes to confectionery sugars and cane sugars and things made out of out of sugar like pies and cakes and ice creams and stuff and I haven't had any of that stuff I mean I was a guy that would reason to myself calorie wise why I could go and buy 75% uh, off cake at, uh, at Kroger's and basically eat the whole cake but then justify that I could work out those calories during the week but you can't it's not good for you it's not you can't do that so so actually I've had no not even temptation to get any of that stuff I have a can I have a can of ready whip in my refrigerator from last last year from last December um, and I was going to use that uh, to do the one chip challenge uh, to, uh, as one of the things that to use to calm things down after I met the 10 minute or 15 20 minute challenge whatever the case was um, it's still there I've got I've got real maple syrup in the refrigerator um, I can't I can't even bring myself to eating that I just can't eat the sugars now I do use pure liquid stevia which is only stevia um, do not use and I'll tell you this right now and I've researched this do not use stevia in the raw because um, let me tell you something they cut that it's not in the raw they cut it with dextrose dextrose will spike your blood sugar like like I don't know how many times like a hundred times or a thousand times many many times more than what cane sugar will do so sugar in the raw sound or uh, stevia in the raw sounds hey man this is good for you. I'm using stevia in the raw and I was using because I'm thinking man how good but I was gaining weight and my blood sugar was still messed up and 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 but I'm like I'm using the right things but no when I found out about dextrose and that they're putting dextrose in there same thing don't eat sucralose those things will spike your blood sugar um, so my point of view is my opinion is don't use uh, sugar in, or stevia in the raw because what they're putting with the stevia is totally counteracting the good benefits of stevia what I do, and I, and I will back this up, PLNT, it's a product, the, the product name is PLNT, uh, liquid stevia. And uh, that's what it is, it's liquid stevia. That's what you're getting, you're getting stevia. And it works real good, tastes real good. It's not bitter, um, and, a lot, and I get it at the vitamin shop, and probably about once a quarter, they put it on as a BOGO, buy one, get one 50% off, which puts it into a, a good price range for, for buying it. And I usually, I'll get two, and that'll usually uh, run me until the next BOGO. Um, really good product. Um, so I still like to have, it's weird, because I still like to have like my, my coffee sweet. I still, I still put that in, like if I'm making a, uh, a smoothie with bananas and milk and protein powder I'll put the vanilla stevia uh, liquid stevia the PLNT stevia um, in there and it's it's sweet it's not bitter um, 
doesn't spike your blood sugar and I still like that so I like the sweet but my body since COVID doesn't like anything that has to do with high fructose corn syrup corn syrup uh, sugar nothing like that and you know I couldn't even imagine putting like a birthday cake frosting in my mouth I just, I just see myself just spitting it out um, so health wise uh, my blood pressure is good average driving right around 120 118 over 78 76 something like that um, uh, blood pressure is good uh, temp's good my vitals are always good my oxygen levels good uh, so everything is every, I do my I do my weight and everything in the morning when I get up and so my weight has been holding about 330 I'll pop down about 327 pop back up to about 332 and stuff but it's the confirmation of my body and that's what you got to look at the scale can give you a general idea of what's going on but the mirror is going to give you the best idea of what's going on my face is a little more slender uh, my chest and arms are starting to to show muscle uh, my my waist is at a, a, is is kind of maintained where it's where it's been but my, I'm I'm feeling some more muscle definition in my uh, in my thighs in my legs um, clothes are looser and that's that's what you want uh, and for me my, my waist has always been the last place really to show uh, my, my thighs my waist my thighs uh, I kind of lose weight from my feet up and my head down and and then it kind of like meets in the middle and so what I'm seeing is that it's uh, I'm coming to a place where where the uh, fat loss is starting to uh, show up in the middle which is something that I've been expecting and working towards now I'm eating don't get me wrong I'm eating I eat I eat on average 2200 to uh, 2500 calories a day um, that'll maintain my weight if I eat an average of 2200 calories or less let's say 1900 calories to 2200 calories a day I will drop I will drop weight um, I'm a big eater uh, but the average man back in the day if you look at the statistics a man an average man was only supposed to be eating uh, 2,000 to 2,500 calories a day the average woman was only supposed to be eating 1,500 to 2,000 calories a day but here in America do people pound when you if you if you're a calorie counter now I'm a calorie counter I count every day everything I eat and I'm a calorie counter and if you're a calorie counter you come to the realization the mass amount of calories that the average American eats and the body you know God designed this body to be efficient on a minimal amount of calories this body was was designed to be efficient on a minimal amount of calories and that's what's happening I mean you think about if you drink one soda how many calories is that um, just anything man calories man calories will pop just uh, you look at six, six eggs six eggs uh, what are they 70 or 80 calories an egg so you're looking at 500 500 plus calories right there okay that's if you just eat the egg with nothing else on it or with it with no butter no mayonnaise no nothing now uh, uh, what I do is I do use avocado mayonnaise avocado oil mayonnaise I use uh, olive oil um, and those things so I everything I everything I, I add up I, add, I round up you know six I say six eggs 600 calories 
um, when probably it's more like 500. Uh, but because I use uh, the oils, so I'm adding in for the oils. Uh, it's just it's just amazing when you count calories, how fast calories. I'm at a mile and a half. Got a little bit of a sweat. How fast calories add up, and you have to come to the conclusion that hey, to be healthy, I don't need so many calories. I don't need 3,000. There's, dude, I, I was putting, I would say I was putting, averaging easily 35 without realizing it. You know, you get you get this strength that has calories, you get this thing that has calories. Do you know uh, a Vente vanilla latte at Starbucks, that's 300 calories. So if you're getting any drink from Starbucks, you're looking at, I mean, I see some people with the whipped cream and the large drink and the frappuccino and the, the syrups added and everything else. Dude, that drink would have to be about a thousand calories. And for a woman, that's more than half your calories for the day. For the man, that's, almost, that's a third of the calories, even more than a third of your calories for the day. You know, uh, and we just blindly shove these calories into our bodies and don't realize uh, why, oh, why, well, no, I'm dieting and I don't understand why I'm getting fat as you're drinking that, you know, 1200 calorie drink from Starbucks. I just had a few drinks today and I had this, uh, you know, uh, you can have pizza Just know how many calories are in that slice of pizza You know people that you don't have to count calories. Well, I would just say for me. I have to count calories Otherwise, I will be blindly shoving stuff in my mouth thinking that I'm doing good and I'm eating right and next thing You know, I'm probably eating 3,500 calories and I'm getting fatter and fatter and fatter. I Don't want to get fatter and fatter and fatter and uh, you don't either we want to have good health and I guess that's 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 most mostly my my walk and talk for today. It was just like an update on my on my health, what I'm doing for my health. Um, like I said, my body contour is getting better, and uh, that's that's the deal. We just did a mile and a half, um, and my that that hitch in my giddy up that I've prayed for two weeks in a row uh, started to come back, and then just went away. Um, pray. Pray. Let God show you things. You know, he says, he says, call on to me and I will show you th and I will answer you and show you things that you don't even know. But if he shows it to you, you're going to know. So I'm going to drink some water and uh, I've had a good walk and talk. Uh, I, don't, I forget what I started off with, but we talked about some things and uh, I'll just put it as the heading of my health and health update maybe but i'm in good health and you know i take my mega man vitamins which has stuff for my eyes and everything else for over 50 and uh i do i do supplement more with about 3,000 uh uh what, grams milligrams of uh, vitamin c um i do do that and i do have uh, vitamin e and garlic that's basically because the Mega Man, uh, the Mega Vitamin uh, for for men also has stuff for the prostate, so I didn't have to, so I didn't have to re up on buying stuff for the prostate because this is a really good vitamin from GNC, and I get it cheap at the Walmart. When I saw that at the Walmart and the price it was at, I was like, what? And so I just started buying it there, and because uh, I always thought it was a good, a good vitamin. Vitamin. If we were in England and the UK, it'd be vitamin. And if you have a garage in the UK, you have a garage. I learned that stuff from watching uh, uh, Escape to the Country. And if you haven't watched Escape to the Country, and you want to see some really great properties and countrysides and, and two, three, four, five hundred year homes that are just beautiful, uh, watch that. It's an English show. I, I, they got like 11 seasons on uh, Roku right now. So uh, you can watch that. Uh, but that's how you say garage. You say garage and vitamins. You gotta take your vitamins in your garage. And uh, 
So I'm learning, I'm learning uh, uh, UK English is what I'm doing. So anyway, that's my update. We're just about 30 minutes in. I love you. God bless you. And I'll see you next time.